This is a 43-year-old male with new onset seizure activity. There is a well-circumscribed rounded T1 hypo-intense non-diffusion restricting lesion within the posteromedial right cerebellar hemisphere and vermis. The lesion demonstrates a rim of T2 flare hyperintense signal with an enhancing mural nodule at its infralateral margin abutting the underlying dural surface. The lesion results in at least partial effacement of the fourth ventricle. Given the patient's stated age, imaging characteristics, and solitary nature of the lesion, this was a suspected hemangioblastoma. The differential includes metastatic disease, pilocytic astrocytoma, or ependymoma. 90 to 95% of hemangioblastomas occur in the posterior fossa, with 80% involving the cerebellar hemispheres and 15% involving the vermis. Only 5 to 10% of cases are supertatorial, with lesions involving the optic pathways or cerebral hemispheres. Supertatorial lesions are associated with von hippel lindau syndrome. Greater than 50% of lesions demonstrate a cyst with a mural nodule. Less than 50% presented solid masses. If a mural nodule is present, there may or may not be flow voids. The fluid within the cyst, cystic component tends to be slightly hyperintense when compared to the surrounding extraaxial CSF space.